reading through the Bible. Deuteronomy 20, going to war. When you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, do not be afraid of them, because the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, will be with you. When you are about to go into battle, the priest shall come forward and address the army. He shall say, Hear, O Israel, today you are going into battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not be terrified or give way to panic before them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. The officer shall say to the army, Has anyone built a new house and not dedicated it? Let him go home, or he may die in battle and someone else may dedicate it. Has anyone planted a vineyard and not begun to enjoy it? Let him go home, or he may die in battle and someone else enjoy it. Has anyone become pledged to a woman and not married her? Let him go home, or he may die in battle and someone else marry her. Then the officer shall add, is any man afraid or faint-hearted? Let him go home so that his brothers will not become disheartened too. When the officers have finished speaking to the army, they shall appoint commanders over it. When you march up to attack a city, make its people an offer of peace. If they accept and open their gates, all the people in it shall be subject to forced labor and shall work for you. If they refuse to make peace and they engage you in battle, lay siege to that city. When the Lord your God delivers it into your hand, put to the sword all the men in it. As for the women, the children, the livestock, and everything else in the city, you may take these as plunder for yourselves. And you may use the plunder the Lord your God gives you from your enemies. This is how you are to treat all the cities that are at a distance from you and do not belong to the nations nearby. However, in the cities of the nations the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance, do not leave alive anything that breathes. Completely destroy them, the Hittites, the Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Otherwise, they will teach you to follow all the detestable things they do in worshiping their gods, and you will sin against the Lord your God. When you lay siege to a city for a long time, fighting against it to capture it, do not destroy its trees by putting an axe to them, because you can eat their fruit. Do not cut them down. Are the trees of the field men that you should besiege them? However, you may cut down trees that you know are not fruit trees and use them to build siege works until the city at war with you falls. This is why when the people of Gibeon came to the Israelites to make a treaty, the Israelites believed they were from a far distant land and therefore came under this qualification that you allow them to surrender and become workers for you. And notice that the trees are even mentioned here. If they are fruit trees and they're good for fruit, don't cut them down and use them for making implements to take the city. But trees that aren't fruit trees, you can cut them down and use them.
Much of what is said here about a person in the army is carried out in the battle of Gideon. Uh, Gideon says to the people, if any of you are afraid, go home. And there are more than half of the people decide that they will go home and not fight. The other qualifications are if you have done something significant, like planting a vineyard or building a house, or if you have married a woman or are about to marry a woman, you are to go home and you are to live with her for a year and then you are eligible to go into the army.